Hello YouTube friends and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you how to make a USB flash boot drive and how to install Windows on it so that you can plug it in and install Windows on any computer that you'd like. Uh, to do this we're going to use a program called win2bootic and you can get it from win2bootic.com so there's many different programs that do this there's Rufus and Unit boot in but as you can see win2bootic it does a lot more things than all the other ones do so there's a bunch of different things that it does here and uh, this is the best one so if you don't want to mess around I would get this one and uh, a lot of people of course are going to say you know we'll where the hell do I get a Windows uh, ISO so I can put it on this on this flash drive, you know? So I ain't even gonna show you how to do that. So, anyways, to start with, I'm just gonna start by downloading this uh, Win to Boot ISC, and uh, download link is right up here at the top. Uh, it's downloading down here in the corner. I'm using Chrome to download this, and uh, you don't actually have to install this program. It actually just runs on its own. So once I double click on it and I hit Run the program will load up on its own and I, I don't actually have to install it so that's kinda cool so it should boot up in just a second here oh here it is alright here it is that's what it looks like alright so uh, it already found my my uh, my flash drive and it's got 7 gigs free and it's 7 gigs flash drive and I'm gonna hit quick format just to make sure that it goes quickly you know and here it says uh, drop source or click to find your source alright so what we don't have a source where the hell do I get a Windows ISO so I the best place that I think to get a Windows ISO is from the guys called Team OS. And they have a blog. So if you go to Team OS blog, which is the third link down on, on Google search here, Team OS blog, and you'll see these guys have, they release a whole bunch of stuff that's always legit, and no viruses, and it really works. And these are the best guys. And uh, if you scroll down, whoops, there's sometimes some ads that come up, uh, of course. So if you scroll down, you'll see they have a bunch of releases, Power ISO, uh, VMware, you know, and uh, Team Viewer, and uh, we're going to go to the page 2, da 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 page 3 now, da 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 where is uh, Windows, page 4, oh, there we go, Windows 8.1 with update, Pro Optimum Full, this is the best one that you can get, uh, if you get this one, you'll have no problems with it, and it'll install perfectly, and uh, it's probably... On already activated and everything, and it or it's got a crack, a simple crack in it. So the download link for this is is you scroll down all the way to the bottom here, and it says download torrent, and then you go ahead and you download that, and that's what you would use to put on your flash drive. So I already downloaded a copy, and uh, my copy is is right here. It's in uh, my downloads here. Um, here it is. I'm just gonna copy it to the desktop so it's easier for you guys to see. Oh, I'm going to cut it. Alright, cut it to the desktop. There it is. Alright, so this is it right there. That's my ISO that I downloaded from, from Team OS. This is a Team OS ISO. So all I do is I click it, and I bring it over here. And it should just come up on its own. And there you go. Alright, so you put your um, ISO over here, and don't hit this better thing. It's uh, it's better too, so it's just uh, they're just trying it out. So you don't need to do that. And all you need to do is you hit OK, or do it. And it's asking you, are you sure? Because it's going to format the USB as well. So you want to make sure that you're certain what you're doing, and it's going to delete everything that's on it. So you hit OK, and it's, oh, there you go. It's telling you that it's going to format and erase everything. <coughs> so you hit OK again. <clears throat> and then it's going to start formatting, and it's going to copy everything on there. And after that, you're going to be able to boot straight from that thing, and I'll show you how to do that once this is done. It's going to take a few minutes to do this. And uh, once this is done, I'll show you how it's done. All right, so the ISO is done uh, burning. As you can see, it's done. It says thanks, and I'm going to hit thanks here. And I'm going to show you how to boot it from, your, uh, from the floppy. I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, so we're now going to restart the computer, and I'll show you how to boot from the brand new USB drive that we just uh, flashed. So I'm going to go ahead and do shutdown. And... Restart. So you got to make sure when the computer restarts, that you hit uh, the button that will take you to the BIOS. Uh, many different uh, 
Love motherboards have different ways of doing that. Sometimes it's F4, sometimes it's F8 or something. And I, anyways, it usually tells you when the computer boots up, it tells you at the beginning how to access the BIOS. Mine, you gotta hit delete. So as soon as the computer boots up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete. Here it goes. Alright, delete a couple times. Make sure you hit it a few times just to make sure that you go into it. So it might take a second here for my computer to boot up. Alright, so now we're inside BIOS and we're going to go at the top here where there's different options. And where we're going to want to go to boot, which is that one. And then it's going to select a boot device priority. Uh, every BIOS is a little different, but they all kind of they're all kind of similar. So I'm going to go in here, and as you can see, it shows that the the USB is the second boot, and uh, I want to make sure that it's first. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to select it as first boot, and then second boot is going to try the CD-ROM, and then after that, it's going to try uh, the the hard drive automatically. So now that that's done, and uh, as you can see, USB is is number one. Uh, I'm going to go back and go to the exit here and make sure you hit exit and save changes and hit OK so now the computer is going to restart and it's going to boot from the, the USB drive that we just created and it's going to take a second here to boot and I'll show you that it's working here so the computer is now booting from the USB drive and it takes me to the Windows uh, login screen and it's going to take a second to pop up at first I just get a blue screen and then eventually it's going to come up here Alright, so it took a minute for Windows to come up, and it always does. And now it's up, and it would be uh, really simple from now on to install Windows. So you would hit the uh, English, and uh, it's different for every di different install. It's kind of have different options here, maybe. So, um, yeah, I would hit Next and uh, Install Now, and uh, yeah, it would go ahead and install on this uh, computer. Hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe. Thank you.